Hey what's going on everybody, it's your boy Carl back with another video on Valorant and in today's video we're going to be using aim labs to see if it really makes a difference in your performance and how that's going to work is we're going to be using aim labs arsenal of mini games to test if it really improves your aiming capabilities and then we'll play a death match after we've used the aim lab mini games to see obviously if it made me better or if it made me worse somehow and um, but yeah the following day i'm going to be playing a normal death match with the standard valorant warm-up um to see if that's better than aim labs i'm going to be basically comparing the to the benefits of both and if aim lab is really worth it which i'm pretty sure most of you guys already know it is but yeah i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to sub share turn the bell on and like the video i'll see you guys in a bit peace and here it is we are in aim lab in the main menu so we've got my profile i played uh, aim lab before i won't lie looks like we can link our account here let's do that real quick here we go here it is average stats 24 kills 15 deaths three assists not bad no descent head current rank bronze oof power from phantom really all right fuck it let's let's do this recommended thing oh okay what this is bad oh this is fucking I'm only like not hitting him. This man. Okay, I'm getting used to this. It's just this crosshair. Like, if it wasn't normal crosshair, I wouldn't do so bad. I can do better. I can do better. 6,000 score. Alright, let's go. What's this then? Okay. Not bad, right? 41? Wait, what was the thing? Can we go again? Yeah, what was... That was good, wasn't it? 41,000. What was the top? Attempt number two. Oh my. Oh no. Not bad. Alright, maybe that score wasn't as good as I thought, but let's go on to the next one. We'll just keep doing the suggesters, what suggested ones. What? How did that miss? All right, let's do one more. Oh, man. I'll probably struggle with this one the hardest, the most. Let's do it like two more times. See, I'm actually getting the hang of this one. I like this one. Oh, mate, 78. Let's do it one high score. Best record for the score. That's sick. 78. Alright guys, let's try this again. We're gonna go for the 100 k Maybe we can get a decent leaderboard position if we get like 120 maybe, but I doubt it happen. Let's go for the hundred. <sighs> we got this.
Holy shit. Oh, no way. Surely. Am I on the leaderboards? Eh? How does this make sense? 123, I will be 7th. Can you fix this aim lapse? Put me on there. And we are back into the Valorant lobby. Um, that went pretty well. I thought I got a top 10 score, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. If it updates, I'll try and show you guys somehow. We're going to play a deathmatch or two. I don't know how this is going to go. We might do one or two. See if it's improved my Valorant skills for this session. We've got Haven, which is actually one of my good deathmatch maps. Right, it doesn't feel good at the moment. Right, headshot, nice. Oh, I got that, nice. Wow, how does that happen then? I'm trying not to shift as much either. Oh, you just got destroyed. How has he dodged that? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm definitely feeling a bit more crisp. That was a bit better. There we go. I knew she was there. Yeah, I mean, overall, my aim seems to be a bit crispier. I seem to be better at the uh, cross-up placement than anything right now. He says, What? How is that not on her head? I can definitely say I can feel my aim being a lot more crispier, a lot more hitting shots. So that is a good thing. Whether it's better than Valorant's training or not, um, we will find out. And that will conclude Aim Lab's side of the test. Um, what we're going to do now is switch over to tomorrow, where I will be doing the Valorant training, fire range, um, and then playing my deathmatch. So yeah, so yeah, we'll just transition to that right now. Okay, YouTube. Now it is obviously the next day, as you can see by the date on my PC. It is the first of October. I'm recording this at you know 1:24. Well, 1:25 now. We're gonna see if Valorant's training makes me perform better in deathmatch. All right, now we are in Valorant's lobby. Um, let's just go straight into the shooting test. Um, I feel like doing it on from easy to hard will be the best thing. Um, so I'll probably might miss one. Um, 27 on easy for, for very, the very first time. Um, let's change it to medium. Look at this dude. I don't even want to know what I'm going to get for hard, but I guess we got to do it, don't we? I 
I'm just not hitting heads. Okay, no, no, no. I'm gonna do that again. I reckon I can get better than 11. Sprayed me down. What's that? What's that? I uh, don't meet him now. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, mate, let's do this. Like it's nothing. Let's go. God, we just got completely destroyed by that bot. That is crazy. I think we're just about warmed up to go to our death match of the day. Um, yeah, here's what I got in the last death match on screen now, and that is what the target is to beat. But uh, I'm gonna use the Vandal again just because that's what I did use in the last one. That wouldn't be fair if I used the Phantom because I could just be having a good Phantom day. All right, here we go. The death match has started. Alright, as you can see, um, <laughs> I don't think the Valorant training lives up to the standard that uh, Aim Labs does. Unfortunately, this video isn't sponsored and I'm not partnered with one, but if they do want to partner me, hit me up. Go download Aim Labs to get better aim is the conclusion to this video. Aim Labs, it's gotta be better. Hit me up, Aim Labs, if you wanna work together. That's gonna conclude this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a sub, turn the bell on, comment if you feel like it, and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.